fellow photographer, how's it going? I'm Michael Selbert and today I want to give you some tips uh, for you shooting your first wedding. Uh, I'm shooting a wedding today and I just arrived at the uh, bride's home where she is finishing the last preparations for the party and I will use this photo shoot to give you a couple of tips that I think are useful especially if you're just starting out wedding photography. One of the tips that I would like to give you is have an assistant who is caring about the light. Uh, I've got um, my assistant over here, my dear wife Emily. Um, actually, I would, just, would say she's uh, my art director because she's much more artistic than I am myself personally. And uh, she's caring about the light and that is very, very important. Why? What is the most important thing in photography? Yeah, the light. Uh, so you need somebody um, who can handle it. And what she will do uh, for all of the photos that we take today, she has got this uh, monopod with uh, a speed light on top. I remote control the speed light from uh, the camera and she's using a shoot through umbrella. Uh, this way she can easily hold it up somewhere, hold it uh, somewhere where, where it's hard, where it would be hard to place a light stand or anything. Uh, we are very, very flexible with the setup and it makes for a very beautiful light. Another tip that I would like to give you is um, if you're not a manual flash shooter, if you're not used to set up the flashes manually, um, use ETTL, use ITTL, whatever your camera system supports. I personally love to use ETTL, which uh, makes it very flexible so Emily can get very close to the subject or further away and ETTL will take care of the uh, right amount of fill-in flash. I don't have to care. Emily doesn't have to care, um, it's done automatically and that's just sweet. So unless you are really a hardcore manual shooter, I would suggest go on automatic for your flash. Over here we are now inside the restaurant on location and one thing, uh, one thing I would like to uh, suppose is if you're the photographer, be the first one on location. Right now the guests are already uh, coming. We've been here um, a while ago, which enabled us to shoot some photos of the decoration, of the location itself. And uh, these photos may later on serve for uh, thank you cards or stuff like that. So it's footage that you want to have, even though there are no people on the photos, but you definitely want to shoot it. So be the first one on location before anybody else comes and uh, use the time to get familiar with the place and shoot some photos already. Another tip I would like to give you is always prepare a list with the scenes you are going to shoot during the wedding. Now this includes all scenes from the very beginning up to the very end. Everything that the um, couple definitely want to have. Everything that the relatives would expect. Of course you will shoot much more, but to have a list of all the scenes, it leads you through the day and you can check off one scene after another and by the end of the day you know you already, you at least have your bread and butter scenes, so to speak, uh, shot. And um, the other stuff you shoot, it's just uh, on top. Another tip I would like to share with you is always have your business cards with you and a pen so that you can write something onto it. Because on such an event, so many people will come to you and ask you, hey, can you give me the photo? Can you send me the photo? Then you just write the photo number onto your business card, hand them over the card and tell them, give me an e email, I will send you the photo afterwards. This way, they have your address. If they like your stuff, they might book you. So this will not stay your only wedding. One more tip I would like to give you is always have the organizer of the party on speed dial, really on speed dial. Make them knowing who you are, that you will call them, because they know what is going on. They know when exactly does a car with uh, the couple arrive. They know when does a wedding cake arrive and, and stuff like that. So be in contact with the organizer of the party. This wraps our video on um, the tips for your first wedding shoot and I hope you find it useful. Probably I would like to give you one final tip and that is just have fun. Enjoy the party because it will be visible in your photos if you enjoy the party and have fun. Hmm? Okay, but that's all for today. Uh, I hope I see you next Thursday in the next post. Until then, I wish you a lot of fun with your photo shoots. Shoot a wedding perhaps and um, good light.